Good morning, kindergarten class. Today is Monday, April the 20th. I'm so glad you're here with me today. I am missing each and every one of you, and I am so thankful that I get to see you see you this way. And I hope you had a wonderful Easter break. And we're going to get started with a lesson number 120. I believe it's 129 hold on a second yes lesson 129 we're going to do a science out of what is sound and that is going to go with our lesson out of god's world it's going to be about our ears and i'm going to give you a community leaders police officers lessons today then we are going to ask you hey did you get the easter project done i'd love to see those pictures of all your beautiful little creations if you did that please let me know and let's see this is lesson 129 lesson 129 not any new material there lesson 129 for uh bible work lesson 129 and bible work okay also 129 with numbers practice again this is nothing new we've already been covering these but it is extra practice let's see what else is 129 we have lesson 129 writing the j's now if i'm not mistaken we've already covered the j's in class but i will surely go over it again with you i hope you are reading at home you do not have to have these specific Abeka books to read at home. Please read daily with your parents or older siblings. And we're going to go ahead and start with the letter, the cursive letter J. Now, if you have one of these, the only two people that shouldn't have it is Ariella, possibly, and Layla, because this is Layla. Sorry about that, sweetheart. Um, remember... You start where the dot is down at the bottom. You go up to the middle part. Start at the dot to go up to the middle and then straight down into the basement and curve back the way you came. Okay, start at the bottom, go up to the middle part, go down to the basement, back the way you came and then wave goodbye. Then you put the dot. You only put the dot after you've completed the word that it's in. So when you do jam, and remember that the A goes down to the bottom to start the next letter, which, whichever letter is next after A, it does not matter. The letter A has to touch the bottom, okay? goes down to the bottom and then starts your next letter. Now remember for Jeep, the P goes above the center line, down into the basement back the way you came from does a little loop and then out okay so it has the spike up here and it has the loop backwards okay don't forget the loop and don't forget the spike upwards for jeep okay now layla just push pause and copy these words on your paper and you can do it all right so that is our cursive J. Cursive J. Can you see the directional arrows on that? That is your cursive lowercase J. We're already having you reading, you're writing, we're having the Bible, and here we go. What about our ears? Let's turn to God's World, page 12. Page 12. Okay. God gave me my ears. I use my ears to hear. My ears help keep me safe. I can hear raindrops fall. I will go inside. Speaking of raindrops, today we have a severe thunderstorm warning. Please be safe and stay inside. Stay away from the windows during lightning storms and be safe. Buzz, buzz, bees. Buzz, I will stay away from the bees. A horn honk, 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 I will stop and wait. 
My mother call, my father call, my older sibling call. I will obey quickly. What do we need our ears for? Sound. They help us. They alert us to problems and they help us. Checking for vibrations. Can you see objects vibrate? Can you see it? You might see the top of a drum vibrate. You might also see the edge of a cymbal. This is a cymbal. Or a guitar vibrate, or the strings on a guitar vibrate. Stretch a rubber band over an empty box and pluck it. You can see the rubber band vibrate and hear the sounds that it makes. A sound becomes higher the more quickly an object vibrates. So the quicker it vibrates, the higher pitch sound, the lower it goes, the slower it goes. So you can see strings on a van banjo vibrate when it's being played. If you pinch a cymbal while it is ringing, if you grab the edges, the vibrations will stop because it'll stop moving. No sound. Sometimes you cannot see the vibrations, but you may be able to feel them. Hold your hand to your throat and hum a tune. You are feeling vibrations. When you stop humming, the vibrations stop too. The sound they make stops. Ah, mm. You know you can put your finger on your nose when you hum. So, coming through your nose makes vibrations. Put your hands on your throat and feel your throat making noise. Your voice box vibrates. That's how it makes the voice. It vibrates, and that's how we get sound. Here's a question. If you hit a drum top and made it vibrate, what would happen? It makes sound. Yay, that is our science for today. What is sound? So next time we do science, we'll be talking about pitchforks, which tuning forks, I'm sorry, not pitch, tuning forks. I do not have one. Do you have a tuning fork? If you do, go ahead and vibrate it and see what sounds you can hear from your tuning fork. Pitchfork, ha ha ha, pitches, tunes, yeah. Okay, anyway, we've got the writing and this is our last lesson piece for today. And again, Layla, go ahead and pause it. And you can write these words on your paper to show us how you mark the vowels. These are no new vowels, no new sounds. They're all something that we have covered before. Remember, the smiley is the short sound, as in p -e -e -n, pen. Smiley face, mark out your friendly E at the end of your words. Cross, pardon me, cross out your second vowels that are silent. So it makes the first one say its name. And when the first one says its name, you put a stick over it. Okay. Circle the special sounds. Special sounds are blends. Two vowels together. I'm sorry. Two consonants together to make a special sound. Like tra, tra, tra. Okay, listen as your teacher says each picture name. Circle the letters that make the special sounds you hear. Pretzel, pretzel. Which two of these are the special blend for pretzel, pretzel? Which two are the special blends for th, think, think? Which one of these two is the special blend for th, think. How about this one? I hate those kinds of things. They are spiders. I do not like them, same I am. Sp, sp, spider. Which one of these two is the blend for spider? Which one of these two is the blend for, oh, I can't see what he's doing. Oh, he's blowing out the candle. Blah, blah. Which one of these two circle the blend for blah, blow, blow? Stairs. Do you have stairs in your home? Stairs. St, st, st. Which one of these two is st, stairs? Tractor. Tractor. Which one of these two is for tractor? Tractor. Okay. 
circle the word that completes the sentence. J, E, K, blank, the bus. What does he do to the bus? What does he do to the bus? Which one of these makes sense? And circle it and write it. Okay, so now we're going to do police officers. Police officers. Every community has laws to help keep people safe. Police officers protect our community by making sure people obey the laws. I can pray for police officers. A police officer wears a badge and a uniform. These show that the officer can enforce laws and make lawbreakers pay a fine or go to jail. Some police officers work with dogs. Police officers and their dogs are called canine units. The dogs help the officers find the items that have been hidden. The dogs also work hard to keep the officers safe. If I am ever lost, I need to tell a police officer. The police officer is a friend. And here are the pictures that goes with it. Okay. A police officer can be a man or a woman. The police officer helps to keep our community safe by making sure that people obey the laws. The police officer is a friend. Children do not need to be afraid of him or her. Only those who break or disobey the law have reason to fear. The Bible says, For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Romans 13, 3. So, police officer. Is there anyone in our classroom that is a police officer? No, but we know that Isaac's dad used to be a police officer. Thank you, Isaac's dad. Thank you, Miss Reverend Williams, for being a former police officer and working to keep our community safe. Is there anyone else out there? Do you have an aunt or an uncle or a cousin? Do you have somebody that works in our community that is a police officer? We thank them. Okay, I believe that is all for today. And I love you guys. Miss you. And with the Governor Ron's DeSantis decision over the weekend to close schools until the end of the school year, we will not be able to meet in a classroom setting again this year. And I am sad about that, but I'm thankful they are trying to keep us safe and keep everyone safe. You stay safe. Try to obey. Um, try to follow all the guidelines. If you go out in public, make sure you stay at least six feet away. Six feet is easy to tell because if you're an adult, put your arm out, stretch it all the way out, and the next person put their fingertips there. Don't touch because we're not supposed to touch, but if they put their fingers there and they stretched out, that is about approximately six feet, and that's how far away you should stand. Make sure that you cough or sneeze into your elbow, just like we talked at school, and uh, wash your hands frequently, especially after you touch things or go out in public. You want to make sure you get the wrist area, the back, the tops of your hands, in between your fingers. Make sure you get in between your fingers. Make sure you get your fingertips. So use the soap and put your fingertips and make sure you wash it good. You need to Wash your fingers for at least 20 seconds. While you're doing that, make sure you get all of the areas really good, then rinse. And then remember not to touch your face because any surface that you touch, whatever is on there, you're gonna put it on your face when you touch it. So don't touch your nose or your mouth. Y'all stay safe, I love you, and we'll have tomorrow's lesson tomorrow. Have a good day, guys.